This mini-built adjustable tow bar kit is for anyone with a 1987 all the way up through the most current model year Wrangler that's looking for a nice, easy, and inexpensive way to be able to flat tow your Jeep behind anything that has a two inch ball receiver on it, and of course is capable of pulling that weight. This is going to be a nice, easy one out of three wrenches for the installation for the vast majority of you who are going to be using this with a bumper that has D-ring mounts on the front of it. If you don't have a bumper that has D-ring mounts on the front of it, you're gonna have to drill some holes to get these brackets installed, and then that will bump up the difficulty level quite a bit. But again, I think most of you are gonna be using this with a bumper that already has those mounts. We are going to show you how to get this installed on a bumper that already has some D-ring mounts on it, in just a second. So flat towing your Jeep can be a great way to get it from A to B. Maybe you're going off-roading, you don't wanna to have to worry about breaking anything in the drivetrain, you wanna be able to tow it home. Flat towing is gonna to be a way to do that a lot less expensively than having to get a trailer and put the Jeep on a trailer. Of course, depending on what breaks, a trailer might be the only way to get it home, but this is still going to be a way to transport that vehicle behind another vehicle. This is going to be a really nice kit. It's going to include everything you need. The thing that's not shown here, but it does come with are all the safety chains for both ends of the vehicle. And as I said, this bracket here that comes already installed on the tow bar is going to be used if you have some D-rings on the Jeep. These are going to be used if you don't have D-rings and want to drill some holes. And this right here is going to be the backing plate for these. So if you do drill holes, you want to make sure that you have a nice strong connection. These are really thick, beefy backing plates to go on the other side of whatever you drilled through. So you're going to be able to pull the weight that you need to be able to pull. Over here, of course, you have a standard two inch coupler that will go on any standard two inch tow ball. So you have this set up to be able to pull your Jeep behind a truck or as I said before, anything that can haul the amount of weight that your Jeep is. This is going to be a very inexpensive way of transporting your Jeep when you compare it to say a trailer. Trailers can of course be much more expensive. This kit comes in at right around that $160 mark. So comparatively, very, very inexpensive way to be able to tow your Jeep. As we said, this is gonna be a pretty easy install as long as you have a bumper that already has some D-ring mounts on it. One out of three wrenches. So let's show you how to get it installed. Tools required for this installation are going to be a 19 millimeter wrench, a 3 8 drive, 19, 16, and 14 millimeter socket. Optional is going to be an impact. So before we get into the install of our Smittybilt tow bar, I just wanted to show you the universal mounting bracket option. This backing plate and this mounting bracket would go into the front of your bumper, but this would require you to drill a couple extra holes. So you could mount it right here next to your winch where your fairly would go, or you could go the option that we're going to do, and that is use the D-ring mounts. So we're actually gonna put this bracket right in between there, obviously take that D-ring out first. And it's gonna look like this. You'll have one on this side and one on the other, the tow bar connected to that. So let's get started by removing both of these shackles. And then getting some of our hardware. First with this little sleeve, followed up by our bolt, nut, and washer. So as I said earlier, we're going to insert this sleeve first, just to make up some of that room inside of that um, hole. Slide our bolt with our washer on the end, followed up by another washer and our nylock nut. I'm gonna put a 19 on the bolt end and a 19 on the nut end. And do that on both sides. All right, now we're gonna bring the tow bar into place, slip it into the, our bracket here, and use the longest of our hardware. connect the other one as well. Put our nut on the back side. These are both 19 millimeter as well.
All right, so one of the last steps is to tighten up the four nuts on the tongue of our tow bar. As you can see, it does move. We are going to tighten up, but at the same time, we're gonna make sure that this is nice and straight, that we have an equal gap on both sides. And we're gonna take a 14 millimeter on my impact and just tighten these up. Now you don't have to worry about getting a wrench on the bottom side. These nuts are actually on a tab on the inside of this tube. So with that nice and tight, we're actually gonna hook this up to a truck and show you how to hook it up. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is actually how to hook your tow bar up to your tow vehicle. Now I have a truck over here with that two inch ball. We're just gonna drop our tow bar into place, lock it into place just like that. And then we're going to add our safety chain now our safety chain, you're just gonna take this U-bolt, go through your link, and go through the two holes on the tow bar itself. Tighten up the 16 millimeter nuts on the inside here. Go ahead and do that on both sides real quick. All right, now let's connect those safety chains. All right, now we're gonna put our safety chains in place, starting with our heavy duty lock pins here. Make sure that it goes through our hole there. Add our chain and lock this down. I'm gonna do this on both sides. All right, our last step is to add our hitch pin, and that's just to make sure your tongue does not jump off the ball. So here we go. This is a nice quick disconnect, and that way this will not release. So one of the last steps is to make sure that your Jeep's transfer case is in neutral. Now, not your transmission, your transfer case. So let me show you how to do that. All right, guys, to get your Jeep's transfer case into neutral, for an automatic vehicle, we're just gonna start with the key on the on position, and then we're going to put our transmission into the neutral position. After that, we can bring our four-wheel drive transfer case stick backwards, that's four-wheel drive, and then over to our right and back. Now, when it's just free like that, that means it's in neutral. So we can actually put this back into park and our transfer case is in neutral now. So with the e-brake off and the key in the off position, our Jeep's ready to be towed. That's gonna wrap up my install of the Smittybilt adjustable tow bar kit for your Jeep. And for all things Wrangler, keep it here at extremeterrain.com.